Finally! After much delay! Space Quest 1! The Sarian Encounter. Straight out of 1987, folks. That's right. I promised this about a year ago. I've been having nothing but nightmares, getting it to record audio and video and, and everything, but I think I finally, finally got it to work. We're going to dive in here momentarily just to soak in that great, great music. Light years from Earth's solar system, the people of the galaxy Ernon have been struggling to maintain the precious balance of life. The sun of Ernon is slowly dying. The planets grow cold. Food is no longer plentiful. Life will soon become impossible to sustain. The scientific community of Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Ernon's lifeless planets into a new sun. What could go wrong? The effort was centered around the development of a device called the Star Generator. The Star Generator will be capable of igniting the otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. An expedition set out aboard the starship Arcada to successfully complete development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcada is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with the fully operational Star Generator. Sounds exciting. You serve as a crew member of the Arcada as a janitor. That's right, a janitor. And not a very good one. You would probably have been sacked and replaced, or the Arcada not millions of kilometers from Xenon. Hmm, good to know. As we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous unshift naps in one of the janitorial storage closets. Excellent. I think I have to do something here. Okay, so... I'll take this moment now to actually uh, talk to you about what is going on. Uh, this is, of course, Space Quest 1. It is probably the first uh, computer game that I ever played. wouldn't say video game. That, that falls to, you know, Super Mario Brothers and whatnot on the Nintendo. But on my computer, I was probably 10 years old, maybe, and I got my first computer. It was a 286SX, I do believe. I don't think it had the math coprocessor. Uh, I'm, I'm showing my, my years there, but, um, anyway, this, uh, was one of the games that I had on it, as well as many of the sequels to Space Quest. It, it had a very long history of great games that eh, started to decline near the end, but that was more a, uh, a product of the, uh, you know, whole gaming environment and the changing of the industry. But, in its heyday, Space Quest was one of the best, uh, adventure games, I think is what they call them. I, I don't know if, I, if that's the right term for it. Um, they would eventually go on to become point and clicks, where you would have different options and, and click on things around the screen. But this first version, and the first versions of such titles as King's Quest, Police Quest, uh, Leisure Suit Larry, all those came from the same uh, studios. Uh, Sierra Online or Sierra, I'm not sure which one it was at that time. But uh, the earliest ones maybe one and two, you had to type in everything you did, so it was much more of a text adventure based game. Uh, we're going to try it, like I guess I haven't played this game in eons, but uh, we're going to try it. The later versions I have are not the type in, they're actually the remastered uh, point and click ones, which quite frankly will be a lot easier, but uh, we're going to have some fun playing Space Quest 1, where you do play the character of Roger Wilco, although I don't know that he actually is mentioned by name in the first game. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. You do get to put in your name, uh, so the character is named after you, but I, I don't think he actually gets a name until later on, maybe. But I may be wrong about that. I don't quite remember my Roger Wilco history. I believe we have it functioning now. Okay, so as you can see um, by the audio, there's a little bit of distortion as well as the video. It looks a little odd, and you saw me adjusting the screen there. This is an example of what I've been dealing with trying to get this game to record. Now, there's varying reasons why I have this issue. Uh, one, it's it's an old game. It's using DOSBox. Uh, I'm using Bandicam, the newest version. 
it does an alright job with it, but it really isn't designed, I don't feel, for these really old games like this. So, you know, I have to work within the limitations that it provides me. Um, so hopefully this is coming through alright. Uh, I did one of these earlier, and everything looked good, but then when I did the final product, uh, it, it just absolutely wasn't working. So I'm trying to piece this together as best I can, and hopefully, you know, keep it uh, somewhat entertaining. So let's uh, see where we're at with the game. So here we are. Uh, we have uh, Roger Wilco waking up, as it says here, startled by the sound of an alarm. It is followed by an urgent voice which warns that the Arcada, 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 I don't know, has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the basic gist of it is you're a space janitor and you have to survive your time on board this ship and uh, actually just try to get off the ship, if I remember correctly. It has been a few years since I played this, um, so let's see how it goes. Alright, let's go over this way. Now everything is text-driven, uh, which does get a little... Okay, before we go any further, real quick. Um, keep trying to use the mouse. Uh, let's speed up the fast. Okay, so here we are. Let's look. Room. This is the Arcada's data archive. Many volumes of information are stored on the data cartridges. There is a computer console here. Let's try to use the console. Currently not one of my options. Um, look. Console. Console consists of a screen, keyboard, and cartridge slot. Top it rests a model DX cartridge retrieval unit. I wonder if we can use the retrieval unit. Use retrieval unit. All right, well, I can't do that yet. Okay, so we're going to walk around the ship here a little bit. All my 8-bit glory. Let's see, I'm kind of here. And then, of course, we're going to search for the bodies. Uh, search body. Oh, my boy, body. And it reveals nothing. Excellent. And one of these, if I remember correctly, has a key card on it that I need. Okay, look. Room. Star Generator Development Laboratory, due to your incredibly low security clearance, you have never been allowed access to this room. So let's just look at... Search body... Nothing. Uh, that's an example of the humor that's in this game. You will uh, repeatedly search for things, and you'll never find anything until that one time. And that one time will be the time that you don't actually search the body. And nothing, of course. Okay. So, we're done in here, I think. Now I have to find... Like I said, I believe there's a key card that's missing. Maybe on this guy. Let's see. Search body. Huh, alright. Where's that? That takes me... Okay, no, I don't want to go there yet. I don't think I do, anyway. Alright, let's go back this way. Oh, crap. And I got shot. Alien observes his handiwork briefly, then leaves. As you lie on the floor in a smoldering carbolatinous heap, you can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Syrians. If you continue playing as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. Better luck next time. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> that didn't quite work. Let's try that again. Okay, so we are uh, back here, restarting. Let's try this again. Ugh, forgot. Let's change that speed. There we go. Yeah, I think what happened was, uh, down at the bottom here, it's supposed to be telling you when there's things happening, your noises. I didn't see that down there, so... Um, yeah, I did get a warning about the alien coming and giving me a chance to hide. 
Uh, so we know those guys down there don't have anything, and this thing doesn't really regenerate anything. But I did not search this one. So, search body. Sweet. Important. Take. Key card. Excellent. I now have a point. Let's go in here. Let's go this way. Avoid maybe getting shot. And head around this way. They spared no expense in the graphics. Oh, I think you hear footsteps, then I'm gonna hide in here. Someone into a small, dark, and very clear utility closet. Many things fall, most blah blah blah. blah. Okay. So here footsteps. Let's hang out here for a second. Da, 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 da. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Another room. Wait. Is this the same room? Let's try. Look. Room. A uh, door opens. Man you recognize as one of the lab scientists enters. He appears to be injured. He slumps to the floor. Uh, look. Large laser hole has been burned into his uniform, through which you can see previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he raises up on one elbow. He tells you that the Arcada is under attack and that the Star Generator is in danger. You had better leave if you value your life. He looks over towards the shelves full of cartridges and utters the words, Astral Body. He then settles to the floor, lifeless. Astral body. Okay, that's a hint. Um, search, not T-search. Search. Body. Chunks of stuff. Uh, nothing but a waste of time. Okay. Oops. Can I search computer or console? Use console. Okay, not one of my options right now. Alright, let's go back down around here. There was an area I didn't go to before. I got shot. Let's go this way, I th think. Yes, we're going to go here. Check this guy's body, see if there's anything on there. Uh, look. Oh, search. Search body. Nothing, of course. Didn't figure out to find anything, but. Okay, look. Room. Control room in the Acadia. Reactor domes pulsating regularly, been tampered with. This does not look good. Through the window, just with the control console, you can see down below the vehicle bay. Uh huh. And there is a guy down here. Let's see. Search. Buddy. Fellow crewman. Pockets you find. Nothing. Keep wanting to use ASD to control. Let's look. Window. Look into the window. You can see down into the vehicle bay. You know what, while we're standing here, let's go ahead and save this thing. Save it, uh, sure, d colon backslash. What? Oh, that's why. There we go. Okay, so yeah, uh, back in the old days where you had to actually save it on a floppy drive. Uh, ooh, another body. Uh-oh. Search body. Okay, uh, use Q. 
key card. Excellent. Alright. Look, room. This is the flight prep room of the Akita. As you can see, there's a sign on the back wall as well as two closet doors and two buttons. Okay, B door is closed. Um, hmm. Look, door. Two doors here, which are controlled by buttons. Look, door. It's inside the airlock door. Okay, so I want to open, or I want to push a button, because I think... Oh, ugh. Push left button. Look down. Oh, okay. Uh, look. Look door. I don't understand. Um, look floor. Okay, there's something there, but I don't know what it is. Push right. If I remember correctly. Aha. Look. Suit. Center issue flight suit designed to protect the wearer from the unique conditions of space travel. Okay. We want to get suit. Alright. We're now equipped. Let's go down here, and I believe this white thing is actually the lever that will open the door that I need. Look. Lever. Pull. Lever. Look. Console. Console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. Push. Air. Lock. Button. Excellent. Yeah, they also spared no expense on the uh, soundtrack to this game. <laughs> Sound assets were a bit limited. Okay, um, look, room. This is the cavernous vehicle bay. All right. Look on the console. Look at the console, you see a button marked platform. There are also some gauges which don't interest you. Push button with the bay doors closed. What? Well, how do I fix that? Look. This is where the game gets a little tedious sometimes. Uh, look in the console, you see a button marked platform. There are also some gauges which don't interest you. Push platform button. So two reasons the platform will not function with the bay doors closed. Okay, so I have to find a way to opening the bay doors. Which bay doors are closed. How does one open the bay doors? One might wonder. Maybe it's here. Uh, let's look at this console again. Console. Many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. I don't know. Maybe there's another way around. Let's look. Let's go this way. I still want to know what's in the other room. And there's nothing over there. Alright. So how does one... Oh, really? Gotta walk all the way back over here. Open the door. You have to love the mechanics. Okay, so we're going to push button push airlock button 
Okay. So that tells me, so that tells me that the door has to be open from inside there. Okay. So I need to figure that out. Now I know if I walk into it, I'm just going to fall. Let's just try something simple as open door. The door is not open from this room. The airlock door opens automatically. The bay door is not open from this room. The airlock door opens automatically. What? I'm confounded by that. Let's just try open door. Can be done from here. Open door. Look, console. One of the buttons on the right is marked airlock. It still does not help me any. Push button. Push left. Uh, pressing matters. Oh, wait. Well, of course, but. How doth one do that? I don't know. Yeah, I wonder. Let's go this way. There's a console here. Aha! Yes. Look. Console. Open bay door. Push open bay door. Bouton. There we go. Okay, now we can go down there. Alright. An odd system, but alright. Use key card. There we go. All right. Now we repeat all the steps we've just done. Wow. Uh, push airlock button. As you can see, there's multiple ways of uh, achieving the same thing. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, hmm, gosh, Roger Wilco, it would appear that you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcada, you become part of the fresh collection of space debris. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably, blah, 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 blah. We read that already. Uh, okay, um, hmm. Apparently, I ran out of time. I was close. Very close. I, I think all I have to do is get in there, get a skate pod or a shuttle or something, and I think I get off the ship. Here's the really fun part. I don't remember what I do after that. So uh, it's going to start getting a lot tougher. Uh, hopefully you guys stick around and want to watch it. Uh, I got score 9 out of 202. How on earth they came up with the end score being 202, I don't know. But it is kind of cool. You can see your progress and know if you're in the right right path or anything. Well, I think I'm going to end it there. I'm going to have to scratch my head a little bit more and figure out how I can do that faster and, and not, you know, be a complete and total buffoon. So, hopefully you tune in again for the next episode of my playthrough of Space Quest 1 and enjoy it. I really hope you do. All right, uh, until next time, I have been and will continue to be Corey Lee. Thanks for watching.